Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. And we are at uh, PTC, wrapping things up just about here, day three at PTC in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm joined now by Curtis Friesen. He's the head of North America at the International Data Center Authority. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Keely. I'm having a fantastic time. Yeah, I think we're all kind of seeing the, you know, everybody's running on fumes, yeah. but it's still just such a great environment here on day three at PTC. I am exhausted in a very exhilarating way. Uh, in beauty, like you said, beautiful and windy Honolulu. It's been a bit windy the last couple of days, but it's been nice. Yes, we all have that nice beachy hair look at this point, but <laughs> yeah. um, you know what? No complaints. We're in Honolulu. So, uh -huh. um, but you guys have quite a lot going on at IDCA. But first, before we dive into that, can you just give us a quick background on um, who you are and how you help serve the data center industry? Yeah, you bet. So um, the International Data Center Authority um, does training and certifications for data center operators. Uh, we also um, do facility audits and facility certifications, um, and we do a lot of government consulting as well. Very so good. between those uh, those three divisions, we uh, we have yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had a big piece of news semi recently with um, the appointment of a new chief development officer with Buddy Riser. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's no stranger to the industry and, and how it works. So I'll let you take it from there. Yeah, we are really thrilled about that. Um, in fact, that. The genesis of that really was back um, last summer. Um, we were hosting a, an African country. Uh, the minister of IT and, and her entire delegation came out uh, for a tour of Loudoun County, um, and we started off at Buddy's office, uh, and he kind of, you know, um, went over uh, somewhat of his playbook of what he's what he's been able to accomplish and how over the last twenty years, because this particular country is very eager to transition from an agricultural based economy to a digital economy there's already undersea cable going into the country they just they need a lot a little bit of hand holding and 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 are utilizing the idca to um to help guide them and and and, and build that roadmap for them to develop this this digital economy um so we gave them a tour of loudon county um in fact <clears throat> um one of the stops on the tour was uh, one of jsa's Clients, uh, powerhouse yeah. data centers, and the and the shell that powerhouse was building for um, for Cyrus One, I believe, um, and uh, and we and we toured Sabi as well. So it was great for them to be able to see, you know, the kind of the before and after um, a, a shell being built, and then and then the and then the completed completed yeah. thing. Um, and then we've we kept that conversation going with Buddy, and um, and he was, you know, really excited to be able to apply uh, his skills and experience um, and everything that he's been able to accomplish in Loudoun County over the last 20 years and 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 apply that to some of these other uh, emerging markets and developing economies. So so we're engaged. Um, I can't specifically I can't say the names of the countries, but okay. um, later this week, um, Mehdi Periavi and I and Buddy will be heading to the Middle East um, to a couple of different countries there. Uh, so we leave on I get home later today and then uh, we leave again on Friday and then we'll be gone <laughs> well, all, all of the next week as well. Well, what's the saying? No rest for the weary, yeah. right? It's, yeah. There we go. Yeah, let, let's stay on that for just a moment mm -hmm. with uh, a lot of your international work. What are your key findings there and how are you continuing to build that bridge? Well, you know, that I'm going to leave all the, the, the smart stuff for Buddy. Uh, I, I'll be there in a diplomatic capacity as the head of North America and, and, and just try to keep my mouth shut and, and, and shake hands, right? Um, but uh, there's, uh, um, there's a lot of exciting work to be done in terms of um, laying the groundwork, bringing in the proper infrastructure. And uh, and setting up um, future proofing um, economies and and um, and digital transformation for these these developing countries, not just in the Middle East, but um, in North Africa and in Asia, yeah. and and uh, and many many more to come. And then back here at home, still a lot going on. You just mm -hmm. finished up a pretty detailed audit for the state of Indiana, and you yeah. have hopes to replicate that. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we. Um, we started this this infrastructure audit for the state of Indiana um, about uh, just under a year ago, um, and and that that had started from uh, 
a conversation that came out of uh, us training um, their deputy director of IT went through some IDCA training and certifications and realized that the state kind of had their backs against the wall and, and, and needed to, um, to get it together. Um, they have a, a primary and a, and a DR and an edge facility. And um, they actually lost their lease on that edge facility and um, realized that um, they were running some very, very critical applications out of, out of all three of those. And, and if they didn't uh, figure out um, what to properly put in place, um, the state could potentially shut down, right? Um, we're talking about, you know, healthcare, welfare, um, health insurance, et cetera, payroll for the entire state. So uh, we, we get, went in and, and did an entire audit and assessment of um, phase one is on the infrastructure level. Phase two will actually be on the application level. There'll be even a lot more labor intensive. Um, and we were able to identify a lot of gaps um, and a lot of weaknesses. And, and once we provide our recommendations report, they're going to um, be uh, in a way better position, um, again, for future proofing. And this, Keely, this is a, 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 an engagement that absolutely has to be replicated with all the other 49 states. Um, you know, they all, whether they know it or they don't, um, this, this is something that needs to happen. And, and kudos to Indiana for really stepping up and, and setting that bar, um, because they, they'll be the leaders in, 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 in that space, um, and, and setting an example for all the other states moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and with some good guidance as well, we might add. So that's great. And then before we let you go here, um, do you want to talk to us a little bit about the consulting engagements that you guys can get involved in? Yeah. Um, so also now, again, with, with Buddy coming on board um, and with Northern Virginia now kind of reeling back a bit on on all the development that's been going on. I mean, they're essentially out of power to sell, right? And that has um, now created opportunities for other states to step up. So um, I and, and Buddy and, and Mehdi Pariavi, our founder and chairman, will be engaging with um, other states and other municipalities, um, again, to help lay that groundwork to um, to provide some feasibility studies and to engage with the um, um, economic development divisions um, to make sure that um, that the proper um, steps are in place and and the, and the right PR is is in place to make sure that their constituents are know that the the major benefits that they can receive yeah. from from being open to data center development. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of economic growth opportunities there that the right education around would help uh, the industry exponentially. So. Thank you for coming to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. Thank you for all of the great work that IDCA is doing um, here at home and then, of course, all across the world. We really appreciate it and look forward to catching up with you again soon. Absolutely. All right. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Stay connected, everyone.